Today I'm going to be making something I haven't tried in a while, which are sets of coasters. And the way I have done these before is you basically throw a very small plate with basically no kick up at the edge, but a slight rounded rim, and then add a slip foot just because I'm lazy and that's a very easy way of doing it. You can wait until they dry, pop off the bat, you flip them over, add the slip. I mean, I've done it in the past few videos, so just jump back and watch one of those plate videos if you want to see exactly what I'm doing there. Um, and the nice thing with these is they're very easy to make, then they're very easy to glaze because you can just wrap tape around the outside if you want and flood it with a glaze that will fill that hollow and the depth of the glaze is what bubbles up and gives, with certain glazes at least, gives a really interesting effect. The other one is the snowflake crackle. Um, which again needs depth, but what you can do is just fill that area with glaze um, and that should give you a really interesting coaster. The foot gives it a foot, um, it's a nice size and they take no time at all to throw. So this one is about 11 centimeters, which these rings are about two centimeters apart, I think. Let's double check that. Okay, no, they're two and a half. That makes more sense. So five, ten, fifteen. Okay. Um, but basically, I would want to throw it to about there. And what I've got is my self-leveling laser guide, which I use for lots of different things. But the nice thing with these is you can prop them up. Oh, the camera gets in the way slightly here. But um, uh, that will project a line on the wheel head. Um, it can't be knocked as a guide because obviously it's not physical. So it's not even on the wheel head is the other thing that I used to do this. My old wheel had a, a bar across there and I put it on that and it could move slightly just from the vibrations but um, this is now on the, the bench behind the wheel head well, the, the splash pan so I can't even knock it and it just projects a line if I keep throwing them to that line they'll all be the same size and on these bats they will dry overnight and fall off so it's a really easy way to make something I haven't done them in a while just because I find oh, I would start with a wobbly bat, but never mind. Um, yeah, I find there are only so many things you can have in the shop at any one time before it gets a bit ridiculous. And people like choice to a point and then you get um, paralysis and there are too many things it's actually counterproductive so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is stuff like this I will have available in the limited edition section for a week or so so people, as many people can order them as they want but they don't have to stay there the whole time and if you don't order in that time then you got to wait for them to reappear in the shop. The only thing with something like that is that it's a nice thought. Um, whether or not I will get around to updating it regularly um, is another thing entirely. Right, so yeah, that's going to be my standard. And then what I want to do is just quickly throw half a dozen more. 